it's your girl and I know I look more alert now but yesterday I just dropped my whole you no know, spilling the tea I didn't have a job uh, situation well not situation I um, I didn't have a job I will because I quit my job video and now today I have two interviews sorry I'm like when I'm like just getting up oh my god it seems like my eyes are always just like a hundred percent like wider than normal but I got two hours to get ready and luckily I have a lot of coffee shit to try oh my gosh it's like trying to get this eyelash out of my eye and keep it clean at the same time um fun fact a part of my morning routine these days involves the cats Mento, Romeo, and the tub. So here, yeah, let me. Oh my gosh. Sir. Okay, so let me get this and then I got a coffee try. Let's do this. Mento just couldn't leave me alone. Like his brother, he likes to be a parrot on my shoulder. Oop, cat butt. <laughs> And also lately, I still need, lately my allergies have been on fire. So that's fantastic. Oh. Okay, so they are, uh, what are they doing? Like gathering up leaves, I guess, because even though it's winter in January, um, all the leaves are still like coming off the trees and they've just compiled a lot. So, if you hear that noise, that's what it is. And I'm okay with it. I don't know why. I was like, oh, it has to be completely quiet so you can hear me. It's life. That's my thing. It's life. Shit happens. There's sounds and that's pretty much it. Okay. So... I have about, what time is it? I have a little bit less than 45 minutes to get ready and head out the door because my first interview is at 11 o'clock. And I want to be a little bit early. You should always try to strive to be a few minutes early to your interview. Um, I already picked out what I was gonna wear last night, so that's less of a problem. But now my real hard choice is what do I want to drink so I have maybe I should do all the monster things in one video maybe so I have these two things call it snowing in space coffee co I got the nom nom it's nitro cold brew with roasty oh it's a dark roast dark roast is not gonna do it for me because I mean it says it has 296 milligrams of coffee which is about what's in the cup of coffee but I need like a buzz, I need a jolt, I need to get my day. Oh no, it says it has two cups of coffee in one can. Okay. Um, then also by the Snowy and Space Company, they get the big blue. This is also, this is a light roast. It has 304 milligrams of caffeine. It's nitro coffee, two cups of coffee, um, locally roasted specialty coffee. Do, do, do. I mean, that is dope, it's local. I think it's from Virginia. Yes, it's from Virginia. So, I love a local coffee. We got this shit, Starbucks, double shot. Um, Cubano, Cubano, Cubano. Um, there's that one. Again, my allergies are on fire. On fire. Um, I have the Monster Mule that one of my friends said um, on Facebook, she said that this was really good. Oh, speaking of interview, I need to take this chipped gold polish off too um, before I do anything else with my day. Um, before I leave out the store, I need to take off the rest of this polish because that's not, I mean, I'm going to enter interview with purple and blonde hair, but I'd rather not have chip polish. Um, got the Monster Espresso. Cream. I love 
Monster always does a really awesome job with their artwork. I just like that is dope. Um, this, oh, this is supposed to be a triple shot. That might be what I might do. Um, or not. My can is a little busted. I think that's from when we like brought it home from the store. Um, so I got this one. And then I got the Monster Swiss Chocolate. This is Java Monster Coffee Energy. I guess these are like all Swiss flags, I believe. Uh, Swiss Mountains, Funky Knives, and of course chocolate. You will do it here. I mean, there's more inside the can. I like to read those. Um, but I think for the sake of the video, I will go Starbucks. As much as I, I mean, so I want to say probably about like 20 videos back, I tried doing my own cu Cubano, Cubano coffee. Um, which essentially is, I'm going, to, I'm going to do this one, which essentially is, um, it's really sweet, it's really strong because of the espresso, and it's supposed to be like really thick and rich. Um, so that's what it is from my experience. Um, so it's Cuban inspired espresso with the perfect amount of sugar, smooth, sweet, and simple. Um, so, yeah, so it's just brewed espresso or sugar. Um, and just like the way it's brewed together gives it like a really smooth taste and really rich taste. Jeez, it sounds like it's getting louder. Um, I hope, I don't know, if you, if you can hear me, you can hear me. Um, I have changed my position to try to get away from it. Oops. It sounds like the closer I get to actually drinking the shit, the louder that shit is getting. So, I'm gonna hold off for a hot second. So, I'm gonna go get dressed and then I'm gonna come drink this. And I'm back. So, uh, you know, well, you don't know. So, my two interviews today is for a coffee shop and for concierge. The concierge is definitely like way out of what I would usually do, but um, like I said, when I was talking to my friend Steve, and he's like, you know, now it's not the time to be real picky or whatever. If you're trying to get your hustle on, if you're trying to, uh, you know, do your dream, you know, sometimes you just gotta kind of bite the bullet and do something you don't want to do. Um, and my friend who has her own catering business is like, look, I do it, and it gives me enough time to, you know, still put all of my real energy into my cooking so I know you can do this um, pretty well too because of your personality and this that, and third I'm like okay fine I'll give it a shot I'll go to the interview stop it mental um so she told me I have to wear a dress pants or shirt I this is as close as a dress shirt as I got because the lifestyle I live is pretty comfortable and casual, so I don't really have a lot of dress clothes. I mean, I have nice clothes, uh, but nice to me and nice to normal people, two different things. And then for pants, I got uh, uniform pants from my high school days and shoes. I got my Pumas, and you know, I felt like if I have to sacrifice my personal style a little bit, you at least throw a little pop of color. And I don't have on my choker, which is something I usually wear every day. Um, or when I go out, leave the house, I always wear my choker because I don't like feeling. I don't like I don't like it when my neck feels exposed. Um, so I still have a little necklace, but this is it's Cubana time. Do they see shake it? Nope. Cuban inspired espresso with this perfect amount of sugar and smooth, sweet, uh, smooth, sweet and simple. So let's see. Um, it's a double espresso shot. I've always been curious about these shots because usually a double espresso. Come on, can I can not turn it open? Definitely smells like strong coffee. Um, usually a double espresso is like this much, 
So, why is it this much? And then also, you know, sugar. So, I, if adding sugar, the sumo would be like maybe like this much, you know? It depends. But we got a lot going on. So, bombs up. Oh. Just like any Starbucks in like Starbucks drink, it's like I can taste the coffee, but it just tastes so watery. Like it's definitely it's bitter or whatever, but it's just like it's kind of sweet. Not as sweet as I would think it could be. I guess this is for the people who can't. Oh, it's too sweet, too much sugar. Oh wow. Um but it's definitely better and you can take it bitter and sweet um smooth it just tastes like watery and flat to me with the like yeah just that's just it i'm sorry mento i can't i, I gotta get, keep my clothes nice um Serve chilled or over ice, refrigerate after opening, and recycle the can. It tastes like when you make hot chocolate with water. And like even like the hot chocolate is not like a super name brand hot chocolate, so it's like off brand hot chocolate made with water. So it's just like mm. I definitely need to head out. Because I need to go all the way to Georgetown. Um, I'm in Silver Spring. So, I was going to take the metro. But now I have a little funds to travel. So. My first interview is for the coffee shop. Probably could have waited. I could have probably had coffee there. But. finished it um do I have regrets about this one yeah it doesn't like from the cubano that I had and also going to the colada shop um having the, the cor cortadito this doesn't really taste cuban-esque to me it doesn't give me like you know it's just, it's just not there vibes wise but will I ever get this again no because it tastes watery and bland and coffee it's like that the coffee whatever she's like selling right there in the back of my mouth so i definitely need to get some gum before i leave for my interview but yeah it's me coffee girl uh starbucks double shot espresso cubano it's not where it's at fam till next time cheers